And so it'll be interesting to see if this feels slow with the 37s. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing a Jeep Gladiator Black Widow Edition. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larich Miller Jeep Chrysler here in Provo, Utah for giving me some time with this Gladiator. This one is available for sale right now if you're interested. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below. Definitely check them out. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. Under the hood, we have a Nacho aspirated 3.6 liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 285 horsepower and then 260 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy was originally 17 around town and 22 on the highway. I doubt it's that anymore with the 37s and then the axle ratio is 3.73. So now we're going to focus on the black widowness of this gladiator and then we're going to see how it drives so first off what you'll notice is this has the rubicon hood now this is not a rubicon this is built off of an overland but you still have this cool vented hood which definitely just adds to the aggression notice we have the satin black front grille which i think looks fantastic you can see we've got this light bar integrated into this crazy front bumper here we do have fog lights still and you can see here with the Toe hooks on the front end, definitely a cool aesthetic. And you notice blue accenting all throughout. I love the contrast between the blue and the white on this Gladiator. But yeah, it definitely has a really cool appearance from front and perspective. Sorry about my shadow there in the corner. It's just the time of day it is. I'm a little bit late to filming here. Um, but anyways, if we pop to the side, we've got 20 inch wheels and wrapped around that we have 37s. And yeah, definitely a really cool looking setup. They're fuel wheels. If you guys are wondering and if you guys are wondering in terms of the width of the tires it looks like they're 12 and uh 12 and a half <laughs> notice there how aggressive those are now this has a three inch suspension lift we've got the adventure series shocks from fox as you guys can see and you'll notice here with the springs notice it has been painted I think it's a really cool look. This also has a steering stabilizer. Everything has been calibrated as well because of the lift and the tires, if you guys are wondering, in terms of the speedo calibration. But yeah, it definitely helps out to have the steering stabilizer. And then we'll take a few steps back so you guys can see the side profile on this. Again, really cool looking. Definitely has this crazy stance. And then notice here we've got our Black Widow badge there on the side. Jeep Gladiator down below. And then notice here, rock rail sidestep set up here and then it actually has little black widow logos on the steps which is cool and then same exact tire wheel set up here in the rear and then again those adventure series shocks and then you guys will see how everything underneath again is painted blue it definitely has that like show truck appearance with everything being painted and then popping here to the rear you guys can kind of see this is where things look i guess the most normal obviously it's super tall because the 37 is in the three inch lift but Notice Black Widow badge, you can see the Overland badge on the other side. And of course, this is painted blue as well for the recovery hook in the rear. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the outside. And then popping inside, door panel is completely stock. The seats, however, are not. So you guys can see here, we've got these upgraded leather seats. Huge fan of how these look. And they're actually pretty comfortable. You guys can see like the padding there with the seats. And then notice we've got like vents here in the center, window controls, outlets, all that normal gladiator stuff. And then definitely have to step up quite a bit. Again, good thing I wore my stretchy pants today. That's all I've got to say. Um, here's the steering wheel setup. And then notice here with the gauge cluster that normal gauge cluster. But you guys can probably tell, and we'll actually turn this down quite a bit. You guys can probably tell all of the white they've added inside. So all the painted elements, which definitely gives it a very unique aesthetic. And then here with the front seats, notice we have the Black Widow logo there in the headrest. And well, identical to the rear seats in terms of that cross stitching pattern. So yeah, definitely a cool look overall. And before we drive it, we got to look at the price. See how much money I got to pay for this bad boy if uh, it doesn't come back in one piece. I'm just joking. Um, anyways, actually, we'll go from that over to the original window sticker. So this originally cost $54,635 before any upgrades. So that's what this Overland was equipped to. And then Black Widow package, another $23,646. And kind of quite a bit of glare here. But now you guys can probably see a little bit better. 
So freeze the frame if you want to read every single option. No, it's three year, 36,000 mile warranty. $78,281 is the total MSRP for this. And, well, let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, and throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Okay, so setting off here in the Black Widow Gladiator, and I'm actually not sure if I have reviewed the Black Widow Gladiator yet. I can't remember. Rare vehicle, nonetheless, and so, yeah. We'll see how this drives. Um, first setting off, I can definitely tell the benefits of that steering stabilizer. This uh, actually has this nice kind of like direct feel to it for being a Gladiator, which I appreciate in terms of the steering. Still not as direct as like a lot of other modern vehicles because again, solid front rear axles, but it does a pretty dang good job. Now these 37s, let's see what the pressure's at, okay? Low 40s for the tire pressure. So right where you'd expect it to be. It's pretty easy to drive. So one thing that's cool about lifted gladiators is they look m like crazy big. And like they look like a mon like this looks like a monster truck, but it doesn't drive like a monster truck. It, it because again, it's ultimately a mid-sized truck and so it drives like a mid-sized truck. It's got that kind of like size feel to it. I'm interested to see of course we got a yellow light. But I'm interested to see the acceleration here because I don't think that this has been uh, re-geared. And so it'll be interesting to see if this feels slow with the 37s. Okay. Not bad. Um, yeah, I mean, we're at, we're at like, I think, the, yeah, this is, usually most of Utah is like 4,500 feet elevation. So this is about the same. Um, so we do get a little bit of power loss with any naturally, naturally aspirated engine. That being said though, yeah, I, I think that, I mean, this would benefit from some re-gearing, um, probably to like extreme recon specs. So like a 4.56 axle ratio, I think would greatly benefit this setup, but it's not like bad or anything. It still gets up and moves. You just have to kind of get into it quite a bit more than you'd normally expect. Um, other than that, I wanna do some other tests here in the parking lot. I wanna see if it rubs at all, right? With the lift and everything. Gotta test that out. I will say these Adventure Series shocks do help out the ride quality quite a bit. Because again, this is a, you know, a Gladiator with solid axles and everything. So not known to have the best ride quality, but the shocks help out quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, ride quality, I mean, not ride quality. <laughs> Turning radius is actually really good, but, um, no rubbing, we're gonna have to back up here. Backup camera. Looks fine too in terms of the angling on it. Yeah, so really good job. Um, really good job to the team at Black Widow. I think they, I think this is a, a really good, like, um, I don't know, like a, it's the best way. Like this is, this like I said, show truck. Like that's what this looks like. This is like the type of vehicle you drive down, you know, State Street and flex to everyone. Cause it looks cool. Uh, that being said though, like I said, the only, the only thing that I can say negative about this build is just, um, I think it should be re-geared. Um, other than that, I think it's perfect. Obviously the re-gearing would hurt fuel economy. So, you know, there's, that's probably the reason why this hasn't been re-geared because it's, you know, with 37s, it's already going to get pretty bad fuel economy. Um, so, you know, re-gearing would make it even worse, but I don't know. I think someone that's going to be buying this probably wouldn't mind and they would rather have the extra, you know, oomph off the line right from having it re-geared um but yeah that is this black widow gladiator let me know what you guys think of this i think it's pretty cool and also especially like this white this is very uh, unique that is for sure to have like this whole thing painted body and so it kind of like all matches together because like you have what's well, like the top white but then you guys can see here in the door and the back all of the white and so it kind of like just extends it maybe jeep should offer this from the factory this kind of reminds me of um mazda with the miata they have uh interiors with the miata that's like this but it's black widow that's kind of something's up for our video on this gladiator black widow edition again a huge shout out thank you to the larich miller jeep Chrysler and provo for giving me some time with this gladiator check out them in the description down below i'll see you